Here you've got the IMET K652 semi-automatic double column mitre cutting bandsaw. Um, this machine is manufactured in Italy. And I'm going to take you through a few of the features. Now coming up to the first one is your bundle clamp. You can see that the size of bundle that you can fit in this is sizable. This is the option that we put on a standard. Um, if you don't want to use the clamp, you've got these quick couplings to undo and a few bolts. And this entire structure, so this, all of that, that, and that cylinder, comes off. So really quick to take off and quick to put on if you, um, if you don't want to use it. You've got these big rollers when you're feeding the material in. And there you can see your scale for your angle. But not only do you have that, you also have a digital scale. So as you move, that'll just show you digitally what angle you have. Uh, nice and simple and having two different um, ways to see what angle you're at always makes it easier. At the back of the machine you've also got a roller for your outfeed. Now every single axis on this machine is on linear guardways and what that means is it's a very smooth action and easy to move. So you can see the vice there, you've got a linear guardway. The clamping mechanism is on linear guardways. Your frame, linear guardways on the other side as well because it's a double column, linear guardways, including your guide arm and your fast approach device. Now the fast approach device, which is this here, what it does is it'll come down fast in as fast as well as fast as it can go hit the material and then go into whatever speed you've um you've programmed it to go at this machine also comes with mist lubrication so that over there is just minimal lubrication that sprays onto the blade to keep it um cooled it's also it's great if you're doing like rhs where the water if you're doing flood coolant the water will go into the material and come out the end this is great for not making a mess, but you also have flood coolant um, if if you have a preference for that. And you can see both um, both hoses running there. That over there is your carbide guard and your bearing to keep your blade running true. Motor. And gearbox. Now the nice thing about this machine is you can do 60 degree both way which is not um, not common on um, on many machines. So we'll go up to 60. a little bit over 60 but you can do 60 both ways now I just want to show you the ease of moving everything now I'm not pushing very hard and that's moving so even if I, I push and I let my hand go you can actually see it moves itself that's how simple and easy it is just to make this machine move like the usually on on bigger machine capacities like this when you're moving the, the actual frame of it it's quite heavy but this, the way it's manufactured, is to make it very, very simple. I'll use even, show you, I'll use one finger and you'll see it moving. So they've made it extremely simple and easy to move. Even this vice here, because you've got to move this vice, the front, um, the front vice when you're cutting different angles. All you're doing is you undo that and you push it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to push it and it's actually going to move on its own. 
So that's how simple they've made it to move everything. Very, very easy. And then you just lock it that way. For the frame, there's a locking um, handle just underneath there. You've got all your safety, so you've got the interlock switches on the cover. And here is your control panel. So, very, very simple control panel. Only a few um, switches and buttons. This here, that's dual, um, dual control. Hydraulic control of your down feed. One is for um, your hardness of material and the other one's for the, just the, the down feed of your material. And you can see that, red, green. And then that's just your cutting speed. So we'll switch the machine on. You've also got a laser light on this machine. So it's this guy here. Switch it on. And you can see, well there's your laser there. But that'll emit out from there. And that laser puts a line on the job so you know exactly where you're cutting. So instead of having to bring the frame down, put it up against the job, measure it, switch the light on, um, measure it with where the laser is, and then off you go. You've also got a plate. Now that plate goes on where you see those um, threaded holes, that bolts on there. So when you are doing your wider material, that just goes on there and that um, gives you more support towards the um, back of the machine. When you're mitering up to 60 degrees, you take that off um, because then you don't need it because you're doing smaller, smaller material. This machine is ideal for fabricators um, who are doing in-house cutting. Perfect machine, simple to use, inexpensive, and it's also a very good capacity. So that was the IMET KS652 semi-auto mitre cutting double column bandsaw.